In this video, I'm gonna be telling you about the Elgato Wave Low Profile Mic Boom Arm and uh, showing you how it's set up and all of the features of it. So if that sounds interesting, stick around. Hello, welcome to Take One Tech, my name's Alec, and uh, you will notice that there are gonna be a few more videos coming up over the next uh, few days and weeks about uh, new additions for my studio because I am in my new studio space. And one of the things that I invested in as well was a new uh, mic boom arm. I had been using up until now, one of these uh, typical sort of 10, $15, are they? I don't know, <laughs> bog standard uh, mic boom arms, which uh, it's actually served me very well, to be honest. Um, it's just that the mounting of it is a little tricky with my, uh, my new setup. Uh, and previously, when I was in my little basement studio, I had it sort of mounted to a cupboard over to the left of me. So it was still, in effect, a low profile, uh, just sort of coming down under the shop with the mic sticking up, much as it's doing now. Uh, it's just that with my new setup, I needed something a little bit more versatile. Uh, and so this was the uh, ideal one for me, the Elgato Wave L. LP, standing for low profile, uh, mic boom arm. And uh, I did have to wait for quite a while because they weren't available in uh, Thailand for so long. And then uh, when they did become available, they were rapidly out of stock. In the end, I just bought it from uh, Amazon on the UK uh, and got it sent over here. So uh, one thing that I do like about it, there's lots of great features, but one thing that I especially like is the uh, minimalist packaging because uh, basically that is the box and they just slapped a la label on it and sent it all the way from the UK to Thailand uh, and very well it came too as well. So I like the fact that they're not, uh, I do hate it when you get an Amazon package and it's 10 times the size of the object inside uh, packed with a load of extra unnecessary packaging. So uh, very refreshing to see this. The actual box that the product comes in is the uh, postal box as well. Uh, and and then if I open it up, you'll see uh, similarly minimalist inside as well. So we've got a, a little instruction booklet like that. Uh, and then we've got the arm itself and then just one extra little packet, which has got a few uh, fixtures and fittings, namely uh, an Allen wrench, which I'll uh, explain shortly. Uh, and then also two little adapters so that you can fit different type of uh, microphones onto the, uh, the end of the boom arm. So uh, first of all, we've got uh, there's two components really, uh, main components. The first one is the uh, clamp to clamp it to the desk, which as you can see has just got a little uh, winder here. It's really quite deep, uh, so it will go up to uh, nearly two and a half inches, so 60 centimeters. In fact, I think that might be slightly more than two and a half, um, but you can just sort of uh, obviously unwind this round. One problem that you sometimes have with these uh, uh, fittings that clamp to desks is this bit getting in the way and not being able to actually wind it round. So uh, some of the uh, lower cost uh, versions would have a sort of bar through it so that you can sort of turn it around and push the bar through. This has got a really neat little feature which basically uh, is on a little uh, release catch here. So if you just sort of push this down, uh, then this then becomes sort of free turning. And what that means is if you are up against uh, the sort of side of a desk or something like that, you can just sort of tighten it, uh, release it like that, tighten it a bit more, release it and tighten it. I thought that was just a really novel little uh, little way to get around that problem. Uh, and the whole thing, uh, this is all metal. Uh, this part here is plastic. Uh, and then the plate itself is, uh, is metal as well, I think. Uh, but it just all feels really solid and certainly doesn't feel like it's uh, going anywhere. It's got this sort of long uh, piece here, which is essentially what the actual boom arm itself fits into. It's got a real heft to it when you lift it out. So uh, it definitely feels uh, sturdy and quality. Uh, you could probably drop it and uh, <laughs> it would certainly survive if not crack the tiles on the floor. Uh, but that piece just basically slots in there. So uh, obviously you fit this to the table first, to the desk, uh, and then that just slots in the top. Before I do that and actually show you what it all looks like, just want to mention a couple of other points. There's a hole here in the bottom and it actually comes all the way through to the top. So depending on where your cables are coming, uh, you've got a way to get them into the, uh, into the boom arm. Uh, and then this is basically just a metal plate that just pops off. Really nice little solution that, and uh, again, the metal feels nice and solid, nice and sturdy. Uh, and once it's in there, it certainly doesn't feel like it's going to uh, come off anytime soon. And so you've got the hole at the front, the cable would go up, say in the bottom in my case, along inside and then out of here. Uh, and then it would pass down into the top and you've got the same sort of arrangement on the, uh, the top here with a second plate uh, and the cable would uh, pass through there and then come out to the end. There is a couple of uh, tensioning uh, nuts so there's one here to adjust the height so the idea is this being a low profile arm that this sits on the desk and then this bit can move 
this bit can move but then also this one can move up and down to adjust the height of the uh, the microphone uh, and so you want to be able to adjust the uh, uh, the tension or tighten it once you've got it uh, right uh, that is actually plastic but it still feels pretty sturdy uh, and then you've also got uh, this one which can adjust basically the friction on uh, how free this is uh, to move and uh, that is basically what this allen wrench is for here so you can use that to uh, to tighten up this if you feel like it needs to have a little bit more tension and you just tighten that up like that uh, you can uh, obviously keep this somewhere nice and safe maybe attaching it inside <laughs> close to the magnets might be a good idea so that you don't uh, lose it and always have it with the uh, the arm and then on this end we've basically got the uh, the actual mic attachment again you've got a little clamp and uh, this is uh, plastic and this is plastic in fact actually the ball part is is metal but this the this clamp on the outside is uh, is plastic uh, but again it does feel like pretty quality it certainly doesn't feel uh, cheap or tacky or anything like that so uh, this basically gives you the uh, different degrees of motion so you can rotate it and then also move the ball joint in uh, any direction almost uh, and then you've got the place where you actually attach the uh, microphone and you've got a little uh, tensioning wheel there as well so this is where the uh, little adapters that come with it would come in so often mics would have a uh, larger screw thread uh, and so this one you can just add onto here in fact you would actually screw it into your mic first and then screw your mic on uh, but similarly you can also use one of these adapters if you need to make it uh, slightly bigger or smaller as well so that is basically what it looks like so let's uh, just actually get it all set up on the desk and i'll show you uh, what it looks like in situ well, as if by magic, <laughs> I've now got it set all up on my, whoopsie daisy, on my desk. It's got a mind of its own at the moment, though. Uh, just making sure I have actually unpaused it. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just uh, switch over to a, another camera. There we go. And now you can see, uh, well, first of all, you can see my lovely Ecamm Live mug. Uh, but then you've also got the, uh, the monitor arm here. And if I come over, you can see how it's clamped to the desk. Uh, excuse the uh, cable management. It still needs a bit of work on that cable management at the moment. <laughs> but as you can see, it is uh, clipped to the uh, the front and the side. Uh, obviously, you can have it coming from underneath uh, the monitor if you wanted. Uh, but I've gone with uh, with this option. I've just got to figure out which way to turn it so that you can see. <laughs> uh, and uh, there you can see the mic attached to the end. So I am using the uh, Shure MV7. Uh, and I think the weight limit is something like two kilos. Uh, I'm just going to have to move this out of the way a bit so that you can see. There we go. I'll come around this side. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, I've used that little adapter on the end there, just in there, <laughs> for the, uh, the microphone to uh, attach to it. Uh, and then, yeah, it's just uh, really neat. Uh, the cables run up through the middle. So this is what I was talking about with the cable management. They just feed in there, and then these just uh, pop on like I say, really nice little elegant solution. Uh, and then for me, this just folds. <laughs> folds out of the way when I don't need it. And uh, apologies for the fan noise. I've got to get an air con up there, <laughs> but it's not in. That's what the empty wire is for. So uh, for the moment, I'm just uh, cooling myself with a fan. <laughs> so apologies if there's a little bit of extra uh, blowing than normal. But yeah, that is uh, basically the uh, setup, how it all looks and uh, I'm really pleased with it. It certainly does exactly what I need it to do. Uh, one of the things that I, I do need it to do is uh, for most of these videos I am standing, uh, but I do do some stuff uh, sitting down uh, on uh, Zoom calls and things like that. So I've got my uh, camera set up now. I've found the sweet spot that I can either stand up and do these videos like this, uh, but then I can also sit down and with a slight different cropping, uh, I can do regular Zoom calls as well. So the thing about the mic, this mic arm is it does have that sort of up and down function as well. So I can uh, move it down to a lower level rather than having it in my face like this. <laughs> so I uh, highly recommend it. It's a great boom arm. Uh, and uh, the only thing to watch out is if you do have stuff on your desk. So if you were to have it mounted in front of the desk, then you'd have to bear in mind that it's basically sort of two inches off the desk for the, uh, uh, the sort of fir first section. So with that sort of sweeping across the desk, you just have to uh, be careful of that. So if you're doing crafts and things like that, uh, just bear that in mind that it might not uh, <laughs> come over the, the top of them all. However, if you do mount it over to the side, I don't see that there's much of a problem. If I just sort of flick back to this uh, view once more, uh, where was it, that one? Uh, you can see that the, I've got the mic on there. It's still way out of the way, uh, and yet I can still sort of fold it back like that. So it's only really this small corner that uh, down here that is getting, uh, getting affected. So... 
I think it's a really, uh, really good for a lot of uh, lot of use cases, really. So I'll leave a link, obviously, as always, in the description. And if you found this useful, then don't forget to like and subscribe, as always, and send it to all of your friends and family who are looking for boom arms and would maybe like to know a little bit more about this one. Uh, but don't go anywhere because there are still plenty more videos coming up right now. Uh, and I'll leave a link to some of those and some of my other gear reviews over on the right-hand side. So until the next video, have an absolutely wonderful day.